A worker killed in a deadly construction accident, the victim falling from a scaffold. The night team Sheldon Fox explains what happened from the scene. He's on Miami Beach. Lots going on right now, Belkies. This scene has been active now for six plus hours. We'll take you over to the middle of the scene, just uh, shy of where that cement truck is. You've got a member of the Miami Dade County Medical Examiner's Office now out on the scene with the van there as well. You can add that official to the Miami Beach Police Department along with the Florida Highway Patrol and OSHA. A busy night tonight after an absolutely horrible day on Harding Avenue. On this night and in this portion of Miami Beach, Harding Avenue is a no-through street. A death investigation is why. One that includes cops, state and federal officials, plus a cement truck. It's nothing you ever want to see, but construction is difficult. It's beyond difficult for the family of 47-year-old Ernesto Rodriguez. He fell about four stories from this construction platform at an apartment building just north of 80th Street in the North Beach section of Miami Beach. Relatives rushed to the scene where they got the gut-wrenching news from that victim's co-worker. I was in my bike. While on his bicycle, 13-year-old Augustine Molina said he heard someone yelling, stop, stop, then saw the victim on the ground bleeding as crying co-workers ran over. Earlier, 7 Sky Force hovered above the accident scene, which police say might have also involved this cement truck. Our investigation thus far has revealed that apparently a cement truck that was underneath part of the construction site as well apparently hit some sort of cabling that was holding that platform up in the air. We're just initiating the investigation. OSHA and the Florida Highway Patrol joined beach cops in trying to figure out the details as a family now faces the new heartbreaking reality that their Ernesto is gone. Southbound, it's the only way to go if you're traveling Harding Avenue, but you can't travel beyond about 81st Street. You're going to have to take Dickens Avenue instead to go south through this portion of Miami Beach. The other thing we wanted to tell you is that the Miami Beach Police Department says that no charges at this time are being filed. They're calling this a tragic accident. We're live tonight in Miami Beach. Sheldon Fox, 7 News, Night Team.